a hundred times, sure. But for some reason, some of us are like, well, waffles, that seems like a restaurant food. That seems like something I can't really do. And I wanted to walk you through a quick waffle recipe that you can do, and you could do at home without a pre-bought mix. I try and avoid those pre-bought mixes because again, they're expensive and they're full of preservatives. So watch how easy it is to make a waffle at home using stuff you've got kicking around already. So all-purpose flour into, again, my tilted mixing bowl. Check this out. And these measuring cups are also from Kitchen HQ. And check these out. Little things, like a measuring cup, we tried to come up with a cool solution. So you have the measure, both liquid and dry, but they're squeezable and they've got a handle. And why is it cool that they're squeezable? Watch this. When I'm squeezing out a liquid, you can kind of give it a pinch and squeeze it like that so it pours out. If ever you've had a recipe that called for olive oil or something sticky like honey and it gets stuck in your measuring cup, we came up with a solution for that. Those are the small differences at Kitchen HQ we want to come up with solutions for you in your kitchen. So the little tiny difference of being able to squeeze your measuring cup and pour, that adds up. That makes life much, much easier. Now in there, I added some heavy whipping cream, a little bit of milk. You have this in your fridge. That's why like a waffle is not that big a deal. I've got a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of baking powder. And that baking powder is our leavening agent. That's what's going to help us rise. And Correct me if I'm wrong, I bet most of our viewers, everyone out there on Facebook Live, probably has kicking around in their pantry flour, salt, baking powder, milk, cream. A waffle's not a big scary thing. Like this is a very approachable thing to do. So we're gonna start to whisk it together. I'm gonna go in with two eggs. Yes, pointy side up, give it a crack. There's one, and two. And here's my liquid measuring cup. Again, silicone. You could use melted butter, you could use oil, but you notice that little pinching action gets it into my batter. Nothing is getting stuck in the bottom of my measuring cup. So I love those little changes. You have your liquid measure here on the outside. You've got your grip. They're made of silicone, so they go right in the dishwasher. And that little squeezy action, think about anything sticky. This always happens to me with maple syrup or honey. When something is sticky and it gets into that measuring cup and you're kind of scooping it out, this is your solution. Give it a little squeeze, every drop comes out. So my waffle maker's plugged in, and again, like the little egg bite maker, there's no settings. Once it hits green, that means it's preheated, ready to go. So I'm gonna get mixing here on my waffle batter. I've got flour, salt, baking powder. And then for the wet ingredients, some milk, some cream, a little bit of oil. You could go with melted butter, absolutely. And now this is...